Devin Gonzalez and we're going to be dealing with uh, replacing a seat post and a seat on your bike. It's uh, one thing everybody has dealed with. Now uh, as you uh, deal with your uh, old seat post and your old seat, what you're going to do is first take it out and what you need to first realize is what is the diameter of the seat post and your bike. If you're not too sure, usually the uh, centimeter size for the seat post will be on the post but this one does not have it so what you're going to do is need, you need to get a, uh, a gauge in centimeters this will usually tell you so I'm running something of uh, 22 22.0 centimeters so being that said I'm going to get my new seat post make sure it fits this is a 22.0 seat post all right, <clears throat> and then I'm going to get my new seat. Uh, the proper way of putting this on usually is going to, your back screw will be towards the back, and this is usually the position of the post that you want. Not like this, because if, you put, if your screw is up in the front, then your seat post is on wrong. So let's make sure it's towards the back. And uh, you have two adjustments just here up in the back, just like I said, and then where your seat's going to slide, slide through. What I usually do is I put this to the side and we're going to slide the seat. So we're going to get our new seat. <clears throat> Once I have it on, then I'm just going to make that slight twist. go and you can see our seats are nice and locked. So now being that said I'm going to cut my uh, Allen wrench and come to that that tightener in the back. And I'm not going to tighten it all the way but I'm going to tighten it enough where the seat is on there. Alright, now that I've realized that what I need to do is I need to figure out what kind of seat post I have, whether it's an aluminum seat post or a carbon fiber. Uh, if it's an aluminum seat post, what you're going to need to do is uh, lube the seat post. <clears throat> so I'm going to get proper lube being that this is aluminum, and I'm just going to put it on the seat post here. Now, if this seat post was carbon fiber, you do not want to use any lubrication at all. <clears throat> and the same thing goes for the frame. If the frame is an aluminum type of frame or a metal type of frame you're going to use a grease. If it's a carbon fiber type of frame uh, you don't want to use any lube at all. So that being said I'm going to put the seat post on so it's the size I want. Now I'm going to make that adjustment with my seat. So I'm going to come back to the back screw Now usually on some uh, seats, they'll have an indication of where to set your seat here, but this one doesn't. <clears throat> what you, uh, what usually what you want to do is you want to have, say about <clears throat> the uh, round end coming towards the metal area where it meets. So meet it right, right about in the middle. And if you're riding cross country, you want to have more of a, uh, a flat shape, where if you're riding a, a, a downhill bike, you're going to want the seat further back and also sloped up. So being that this is cross country, I'm going to move it to the position I want. And after I have that position, I'm going to come back to my uh, screw in the back, and I'm going to tighten it down. Alright, it's nice and tight, <clears throat> so now all I need to do is just uh, set the adjustment, and I'm ready to get on the trail. And that was your video tech tip of the day.